Uh, but a big highlight for me is to be able to say good afternoon, Bill Bailey. No, good afternoon. I'm sorry you've had such... How long have you been here? Uh, a number of hours. But there's so much happening. I mean, we've got hail coming. Hail? Yep. I'm sorry. I mean, you've got... There's the fracking incident. Yes. You're not allowed to throw balls. <laughs> you in can't the... throw balls in the, in the playground. <laughs> well, that just seems like a world gone mad. Topsy turvy. The whole country's falling apart. The seams. But I have to defend my country because you've got Prince Harry. Yes. <laughs> hey, don't don't throw that on my door. No, you, we love him. What do you mean? You've got Prince Harry. <laughs> yeah, we love him. <laughs> oh, really? Well, he's entertaining anyway. He certainly is, and so are you. Welcome back to Australia. You must be feeling exhausted. Uh, did you fly all the way from Britain to here, or have you stopped off along no, the way? I stopped off in Indonesia. I was there for two months. Uh, filming a documentary about Alfred Wallace. So uh, I've been in the jungle for two weeks, uh, two two months, is it? I can't even remember how many how many weeks I've been there. So I've been, gone a bit troppo. When are we going to see that? Next year. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. I, see, I keep seeing you, you pop up a lot on uh, Graham Norton's program. Yes, I do. Has yeah. he got a group of people that he admires, uh, c- comics, who he, he likes to have on the show a lot? Uh, I suppose so, yeah. I mean, I, I've known Graham a long time f- from his stand-up days, and uh, we often used to share a bill, you know, on the stand-up scene. So, I think he's um, he's a very good host because he's quite he's re- very relaxed, and he gets uh, he gets some great guests as well. So, yeah, I mean, I think I've, I've done the show a number of times, and it's always good fun. It's a very rowdy audience, so extraordinary, uh, it, raucous. It, he's made a crowd. huge impact here yeah. uh, in Australia, as you have. Is this the ninth or eighth eighth time? Something like that, eighth or ninth. I can't remember. It's the first time you've come via the jungle. Though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, it was a bit of a disappointment, actually. I was hoping for a bit more sun, but there we go. Never mind. Well, we're on the end of the first cold winter we've had in about 14 years. Yeah, we will say that. No, no, we, no it's the truth. <laughs> sure Everywhere you riding. go, they, people go, no, you should have been here last week. Oh, it's brilliant. Fantastic. We had... No, but Money. That, means, that means the bad weather follows oh, right. you. Okay. Right. So, uh, tell us about Quam Peddler. Quam Peddler. Well, Quam Peddler is um, is the new show, and it's uh, it's the, the the show I've uh, been writing this year, and I've just uh, I've done a few preview shows in the UK and around Scotland. So this is uh, the first time it's had a big outing in a sort of touring mode, and um, the name I, I really like because I loved Quam as a name. I've always loved the, the word Quam. My grandmother used to use it about everything, you know, from scones to nuclear war. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I've got qualms about this, you know. So I used it's to really a, like. It's a word you hardly hear. Well, you'd, you'd say that, but you, you often see it in the in the print media. The newspapers like to have a, you know, to use the qualm. They have qualms about it, and I. So I thought, in some way, I want to, you know, in, incorporate that into the title. And peddler, I thought would be good. Nice, you know, it's like a, 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 a sort of anxiety monger. That's what I am, uh, a peddler of qualms. And I suppose somebody pointed out to me, it's, it's very, very right, actually, is qualm peddler is actually quite a good euphemism for stand-up comedian. So Absolutely. You know, so that yeah, seems to fit. The um, Some some uh, parts of the show inspired by a trip to China? That's right, yes. Um, I spent a month travelling around China, which is a long-held desire to, to, to do that, and took the family. And uh, I was meant to go there years ago, but then the ni- 1989 was the year I picked to go to China. It was a bit of a bad year. So um, I, um, this was a kind of a return trip that I always wanted to make. And it's, it's an extraordinary place. I mean, it's just surreal and uh, odd and bizarre and all the things you'd imagine and more. And um, there, there was a lot of uh, cultural kind of sort of culture shock, really, because nobody speaks English. You have to kind of learn Mandarin to kind of have any kind of meaningful conversations or just get around. So there was a lot of... Pro- Do you, you know, know what qualm is in Mandarin? Qualm. Uh, <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> That was the same pronunciation yeah. I would have used. That's it. The, pronunci- the pronunciation is the thing. I just I couldn't get my head around because, as you as you probably know, you get the pronunciation slightly wrong. It means something totally different. I was trying to order dumplings in the street, and you say "li hao zhao zi," which is "please may I have some dumplings." But if you get it wrong, do you think I didn't know that? It, well, of course, you had that look of <laughs> "I know what you mean," <laughs> and then so I'd sort of I'd say confidently "li hao zhao zi." And then they just look at me like, "You want to laminate a rabbit? What? what? <laughs> you want to meet the mayor? Well, at least it's comical. You want to cobble a shoe? You know, like." And I just, it was at my wits' end, and I, I didn't like. I sound like I was saying it any different. 
I was working once, you've reminded me of this now, I was working once with uh, a very well-known uh, Australian entertainer yeah. who used to travel with her mum, yeah. and I believed I knew a little bit of Italian, Yes, and I uh, let go of these words backstage, and the mother gave me a look that almost killed me on the spot, right. because I'd got something slightly wrong, yes. and it's exactly what you're talking about. Now, you're here in Australia, you've arrived today, um, the show's at uh, Hamer Hall on the 10th, 11th, 12th and 13th of September. Uh, what's happening in the interim? Are you starting the tour elsewhere and then coming back here? That's right, yes. I'm going to head off to Perth and then from Perth I'll make my way back via Adelaide, Newcastle, Canberra, Sydney and uh, eventually to Melbourne. Well, welcome back. I'm sorry the weather's not better, but it was worse yesterday, if that's any consolation. <laughs> okay, thanks very much. Uh, it's lovely to meet you. Have a terrific tour. I know you've got to go on to other uh, media appointments today, but uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank I you love much. your work, and uh, I, I know there'll be lots of people, uh, lots of listeners heading along to the shows. Good. See Bill, you then. Bill Bailey.